Welcome to this short video about our developed active learning based model predictive coverage control frameworks. In the following five minutes, we will give an intuition on their structure, as well as show the results obtained implementing them on hardware. But first, let's start with a short explanation of coverage control and its goal, using the example of multiple caps covering a convex area. They do so with respect to some environmental demands reflected by the density function phi. In the chosen example, those demands might be given by the population density distribution. The aim of coverage control is then to place or steer the agents into a configuration such that each agent is assigned an equal amount of density value, here reflected by an equal amount of potential customers. Mathematically, an optimal configuration is defined as a local minimum of the so-called locational optimization function. In addition to considering the positions, it partitions the environment and assigns each agent its own partition. The partitions are thereby normally defined as Voronoi partitions. While most of the well-known coverage algorithms assume agents that are subject to single integrator dynamics, we present two nonlinear tracking MPC-based coverage frameworks that do not only allow for the consideration of agents subject to more complex and potentially nonlinear dynamics, but additionally ensure collision avoidance. Furthermore, both of them have been extended to the case in which a density function is initially unknown and needs to be actively learned by the agents. The developed frameworks are referred to as two and one layer model predictive coverage controllers and they differ by a reference generating layer. Their individual extension to an initially unknown environment results in four different frameworks for which convergence and recursive feasibility guarantees have been derived. For all of the following coverage frameworks, the existence of a central server receiving position and density information is assumed. The first framework is called two layers approach given its hierarchical structure, and it is inspired by the reference sources. The Voronoi partitions are formed with respect to the agent set point position, and the centroid of each partition is passed as a reference to each agent's MPC. The MPC is formed without any terminal ingredients, and the partition update is only performed if feasibility and a location optimization cost decrease are ensured. The result of the two layers algorithm implemented using the CRS software framework in combination with our miniature race cars is shown in the following video. The partitions, centroids and MPC trajectories are visualized on the side. Additionally, in green, we see the decreasing location optimization function. For its extension to an unknown environment, a probabilistic decision based on the remaining uncertainty is made on whether the cars are exploring and collecting data or covering. In case of an exploration decision, the cars are steered to the most uncertain point of their respective partition. In the resulting movement on hardware, it can be seen that the cars initially perform an exploration movement and drive to the point of maximal variance within their partition. In addition to the actual locational optimization cost development, its estimated value is shown in dashed rosé. As our agents get close enough to the point of maximal uncertainty, they re-decide on their next move, and for the remainder of the experiment, they perform covering movements. For the second algorithm, we overcome the hierarchical structure and integrate the calculation of an optimal position within a partition directly into the cost of each agent's MPC, making a cost decrease check before the partition update redundant. Applying our one-layer algorithm shows that it's for an our partition update, as well as the decrease of the location optimization cost, is comparable to its two layers opponent. Finally, the extension of the one layer to an initially unknown environment is obtained by including the uncertainty into the MPC cost. As there is no explicit decision between exploration and coverage, for the current setup, the one layer shows a faster cost decrease in an unknown environment than its previously presented two layers opponent. With this, we are at the end of this video and I'd like to thank you for your attention. 
more detailed information, as well as convergence guarantees of the presented algorithms, can be found in our corresponding publication.